As the saying goes, if you're not on the internet, you don't exist. The same goes for social media. As of mid-2016, almost half the world's population of 7.3 billion is on the internet. In the first quarter of 2016, Facebook could claim around 1 billion daily active users. Twitter has about 300 million users, of which journalists are the largest and most active verified group. And photo and video sharing site Instagram has 400 million users of its own. Never before have such large audiences been concentrated in one space. So whether you're a big brand or a small nonprofit, to connect with the people who support you want, you have to be social. And if you want results, you need to think about what you want to achieve and how you will get there. Having a strong social media strategy has many benefits. You will raise awareness of your issue, build support, build credibility among donors and partners, coordinate online efforts with colleagues, anticipate challenges and plan for the future, even raise money. To give you a taste of social media campaigns for social change, let's take a brief look at some recent examples. In 2015, George Clooney worked with Social Bite, a Scottish charity and social enterprise sandwich shop, to raise funds to feed the homeless on Christmas Day. Part of the funds would also be given to Clooney's own charity, Not On Our Watch, a project that brings global attention to forgotten international crises, like the conflict in Darfur. The charity met their goal, and they also benefited from raising brand awareness by partnering with the likes of an A-list celebrity who attended their sandwich shop. Selfies and online videos also helped. In another case, there's no actual law against women driving cars in Saudi Arabia, but it is forbidden. In 2011, women's activist Manala Sharif decided to encourage other women in her country to take part in a mass driving day. She then filmed herself on YouTube and encouraged others to do so. The most recent Women Mass Drive Day took place in June 2016, where the hashtag I will drive my car June 15th received 1 million mentions on Twitter. The movement is not over, but the views people have about allowing women to drive is changing. Meanwhile, the Harass Tracker Initiative works to eliminate the social acceptance of the phenomenon of sexual harassment and assault in my home city of Beirut. By using online reporting and media campaigns, the website includes a map where people who witnessed or experienced sexual harassment can pin the location and give details about the incident. The aim of the campaign is to empower women to report harassment incidents and to raise awareness about the frequency and severity of sexual harassment in the city. Launched in early 2016, so far there have been 27 reports from different areas of Beirut.